as the world has evolved, we've learned that autism is a group of diseases and Fragile X in particular is kind of ahead of the curve in that there's an understanding of the genetic correlation and the fact that it's a monogenic disease really puts Fragile X in the forefront of where autism is heading. Fragile X is caused by uh, absence of expression of a very critical protein called FMR1. And uh, FMR1 is generally expressed throughout the body, but it plays a particularly important role in the brain where it helps neurons to make connections with each other. And, um, and it's these connections that enable the brain to learn and to memorize. So a very important protein for learning and memory. So a Fragile X patient is completely missing this FMR1 protein. At the beginning, we did not have a concept of starting a foundation. Um, at the beginning, I went off and did some research and called up the National Institutes of Health to see what they were funding on Fragile X. And at that point, when I learned just how little they were funding, that was, that was directed at understanding and treating this condition, that's what did it. Over all these years of working on Fraxa Research Foundation, it has warmed my heart to see how many people want to help and have helped and are helping with their donations and their volunteering. And I'm really grateful for the trust and for the encouragement. And even the small donations, make me work harder and make me more hopeful.